Hello, I'm Hugh Lyman, and uh, this uh, video is a preview of the Lyman Mueller filament extruder version 5. And uh, this is not a professional uh, video, so bear with me and uh, we'll show you how it works. First, we will do a kind of a preview of the system. The <clears throat> We have an extruder that is all one unit. It's not attached. It sets on uh, some pads to control some of the noise. And uh, it is very quiet. And uh, it extrudes the filament, the nozzle, at about one and a half times the diameter of um, a three millimeter filament. The extruders made it with a NEMA 23 stepper motor, 150 kilogram per centimeter torque, and um, from there it uh, we have uh, flexible couplers, uh, the auger shaft, the uh, thrust bearing, uh, we have a, a rope block insulation. Uh, actually for insulation. This is a standard uh, half inch pipe uh, floor flange. And it's a four inch uh, black pipe uh, half inch uh, nipple, a coupler, a heat band, a thermistor, and a brass nozzle. So here's a shot of the uh, extruder. Notice my printed uh, uh, couplers and then the uh, augers turning counterclockwise. Okay. Next here is the fan for cooling the filament as is extruded. This part is a windshield to keep the from uh, cooling the nozzle. This is the sensor uh, designed and furnished by uh, Philip Mueller. Okay. Now, here we have the electronic box with the electronics which consist of merely the power supply and the uh, uh, solid state relay uh, of <coughs> Mega 2560R3 and a Ramps 1.4. Uh, this is the pedestal for the LCD readout, which is adjustable to your uh, desired position. Uh, and we have the puller roller and a motor that drives the rollers. It's an EMA 17. Uh, actually, it's one I the same as I use for my 3D printer uh, extruder. Uh, it's controlled by, it, it runs uh, neo, uh, urethane uh, rubber rollers that pulls the filament. And this is the, the unit that controls the diameter of the filament. Then we have a low wind system and a spool winding con uh, system with uh, a, uh, a small gear motor. Okay, that's the overview. Now, um, let's see, I left the lid off in the back, and we'll show you a view of that during the video. So to start out with, um, I think we should uh, explain a couple of things. Let's turn it off first. This is our power, 110 power supply. This is the power to the uh, the ramps, the LCD, and the sensor. Now, uh, we have uh, several screen menus. The first one is the information. On the information, we have uh, the temperature, the extruder RPM, the filament diameter, the length that's extruded, we have the feed rate, we have the RPM of the 
puller motor. We will have here the um, uh, estimated or actual length of time it's going to take to extrude, or I should say maybe the remaining time. And then this is the um, actual time here. So that's the information screen. We hit the, the knob and we, we have in the first menu all the different functions. We control the extruder, we clear the statistics, we can prepare what we want by clicking on the prepare. We can adjust every function of the extruder from the RPMs to the temperature um, to the uh, speed of the motors. Okay. And so now what we, we do, we'll go down here and hit preheat uh, the uh, nozzle and you'll see the light came on on this uh, switch and that's uh, showing that it, the, it is getting heat to the nozzle. This is wrapped with a, um, a welding uh, blanket um, cut and wrapped and that gives me heat control. I can grab hold of this anytime without burning myself. Of course, I can touch this most of the time too. It does get warm here on the flange. Okay, so now it's going to take about eight to ten minutes to uh, uh, get stabilized, and um, and it has to it has to heat up the plastic in here, and it's going to heat it back here to uh, the the uh, coupler uh, and. Uh, and warm the plastic that's in the in the chamber in the nipple. So we'll <clears throat> let that warm up. And um, this switch controls the the uh, spool winding. I want to uh, while it's warming up talk to you about my level wind. I designed this and uh, uh, machine this uh, uh, paw out of peak plastic tube or rod and uh, then I drilled it out and filled it with lead and then I discovered that it needed a little more weight to hold it into position so I had to add uh, some weight and um, you can't see it from here but I'll, you'll see it later uh, and the filament uh, uh, is controlled fed through the, the bottom here that level winds it. And on top of this, I have an arrow pointing, so which it tells me which direction it's going because it, it goes pretty slow. And this is uh, driven by, uh, I have three rubber bands on this uh, pulley. All right, we're, <clears throat> I'm sure 185, 160. I'm, I'm going to go down to uh, control and then the temperature and then I'm going to change extruder temperature by dialing up. I'm going to change it up to 220 degrees. Click it. There it is. Now go back to the info screen and it shows here the set temperature 220. Right now it says 187 and it's climbing. Okay. Um, so we'll wait a few more minutes before we turn it on. This is a funnel, fits in the uh, extruder. You can also use a sh uh, three inch shipping tube if you want. And uh, actually uh, it works good at putting weight on top of the filament. You can do that with this also, but it's a different configuration. This is um, one kilogram of pellets. And uh, depending on the speed, we can go any speed we want. Um, and uh, you can set how much, uh, or I say it's the length, Oh, it says it's up to 220, and the buzzer comes on. We click it, it turns it off, the, the buzzer. All right, 
uh, with everything uh, warmed up and ready to go, I'll show you how we load it. We click on the <coughs> knob, turn down to resume extruder, turn on the extruder. Both motors are running. And uh, filament here, I'm going to grab it with scissors because it's hot. And then uh, go through the sensor. And I can hold it now. Clip it off. Feed it, stretch it on, feed it into the roller. Now I'm going to let it um, um, feed through till it gets stabilized in the uh, diameter. And get the This will take a couple of minutes. This pull it over to one side. Move my ball over here. Okay. We got it going. Here's a shot uh, from the end of the uh, spool winding, and uh, you notice how nice that's winding? Well, it'll wind that way for about three layers, and then it will get a little off, but it'll level wind. The power supply, solid state relay, of course the switches, the uh, ramps, and uh, the cooling fan um, and that's it simple so much simpler than version 4.1 be back in about an hour to check it okay here we are back at about one hour and it's showing um, 25,000 millimeters extruded and you see how nicely it's level winding the spool thank you and bye